voiceover in Jerry here. I decided that I would begin the day yesterday by reading Malaika's Costume, written by Nadia L. Hahn. And I was eating uh, some porridge. Tomi makes really great porridge with nutmeg and raisins. And yes, this is me just eating breakfast with my strawberry earrings and um, taking in all the beautiful color in this awesome book. So this book made me cry. Um, so this is Malaika's costume. There. This is Malaika's costume written by Nadia Han. Um, Nadia Han and I uh, have been friends since elementary school. And she is a published author of many children's books and young adult books. Um, and this one is a story of Malaika. Malaika lives on an island with her grandmother. And while the island isn't named, it's pretty much Trinidad. And her mother, she lives with her grandmother and her mother moved to Canada um, to make money so that she could send money back home to support Malaika and her grandmother. And Malaika's mom was supposed to send money so that Malaika could buy a costume for Carnival. But the money doesn't seem to be coming. Um, so we have only a few days before Carnival and Malaika is sad and scared and worried that there the money will not come in time as you can see she's marked off the dates before carnival and there are only a few days left so this story is about what she does um in order to participate in carnival um i enjoyed the story it was obviously very quick to read because it is a children's book um I enjoyed it because it has lots of things that I like. So it centers a young black girl. Um, it is a story that takes place in Trinidad, but also has a connection to Canada and Toronto in particular. Um, it's a story about strong families and intergenerational relationships, creativity, perseverance. Um, and it also has really beautiful pictures by Irene Luxembacher. Irene's style, um, she uses a lot of very concentrated colors and her style um, has a collage feel to it and I do a lot of collages, so I enjoy. There's one, this is one of my, well, there are a bunch of, of really beautiful illustrations, but I really like this one. The plane, and then you can see like the city, and there's some three-dimensional activity happening, like layering, that I really like. Um, anyway, the details are really lovely. And one of the characters, this guy, his name is Uncle Iwat. Um, and my father's name is Iwat, so... Um, I think that Nad I mean Nadia obviously knows my father's name. So I'm not sure she named the character after him. I think we both have an Ewat in our family. But it's kind of cool to see my father's name in a children's book because I don't think I've ever seen that. So it was very, very sweet. Um, and I enjoyed it. Uh Malaika's costume satisfies a couple of prompts for the read a thon. Um, so it satisfies it satisfies a Canadian children's book. It also satisfies a Canadian award nominee because I believe this was, okay. So the manuscript of Malaika's costume. So this is Nadia's first children's book and she has two other Malaika books. Um, 
It won the Helen Isabel Sissons Canadian Children's Story Award. And her other books, she wrote another one. She's written about 13 now. Um, one is called Music and Me... Mu- Ah, it wasn't named in here, but she's written some um, books for uh, a series called the Music and Media Studies series, part of the Sankofa series, and that won a Moonbeam Children's Book Award for Multicultural Nonfiction. So this is not only a book that was nominated for a book award, but it has actually won at least one. So... Um, that's Malika's costume and it satisfies the prompt for a Canadian Book Award nominee. So that's two. It also is an immigrant slash refugee story, mostly an immigrant story. Um, so it satisfies that prompt as well. It's a story about a loving relationship, so it satisfies that prompt. Um... It also has nature on the cover, so it satisfies that prompt. And it has red on the cover, so it satisfies that prompt as well. So I will say that that is um, a pretty good book to read for the readathon. And it is my second book. All right, we will see what I get to next today. It is the end of the day. I did not ooh, I did not get any reading other reading done besides the children's book that I read earlier today because life and vacation. But I am now starting uh, Cherie Demoline's The Marrow Thieves. I'm looking forward to it. 234 pages. Let's see if I can get it done by tomorrow. Probably not, but I will start today and I'm going to look to see if there is an audible... Um, recording of it there's been rose gin so this is going to be a short (laughs) vlog segment um so yes i will see if there is an audible of it and if so then i'll be able to do a hybrid read um and we shall see my goal is to finish one chapter before i go to bed just regular goals so i hope you had a good day this is this might be the end of my day two vlog just Hold on for a few minutes and you'll see if it actually is. Um, If I do get through enough, then I'll just come back afterwards and let you know what I think of the first chapter. Maybe I'll try to do that. Clearly, I did not. Bye.